Hi all, this is Max from Xenomax.com and Droid2Hacks.com. So today I bricked my Droid2. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to... Uh, actually, I'm just going to document and hopefully it works out. Um, how to unroot or unbrick your Droid2. Right now I can't even get into clockwork recovery. I can only get into uh, the stock recovery because the Droid2 resets it. So what I want you to uh, do is um, get a Windows computer. Uh, maybe you can get VMware run it on Mac. Um, sorry, I don't have directions for it on Mac. Anyway, uh, download the droid to unroot.zip file. I have uh, links below my blog, uh, blog post or video. And uh, let me show you my screen right here. And then uh, when you unzip it, you'll get this fo uh, folder with three files. Um, now what you're going to do is run the art rsd light underscore 4.7 point dot msi double click there and then next and next and next and also you need uh, motorola drivers the droid 2 drivers installed i have links below on that too um, so this is going to install um, oh it's popping up yes it's going to install and I'll be back when it's fully installed. Hi all folks, so it's done and uh, it's done. And next what you're going to do is, uh, you see there's three files. One of the files is pst underscore flash dot alienai. We have to copy this file into the RSD like program folder we just copied. So do right click and choose copy. Did we get that? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and then we're going to go to find the directory. It's usually going to be in C, uh, program files, x86 probably. And then um, Motorola. Where's Motorola? Yeah. Motorola is here. And RSD Lite right there. Um, right? And then we're going to do right click and paste. And say copy and replace and continue. And once that's done, we're going to put our phone into uh, bootloader mode. Turn off your uh, Droid 2 phone and then uh, what we're going to do I think it's um, oh, it's uh, up button, right? This up button, up arrow, and then while holding that hit the power button. And it should pop you into uh, bootloader. There we go. So that's the bootloader. It'll say bootloader, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then connect your USB cable, micro USB cable. Um, oops. Stuck on the camera. To your computer. All right. And then let's just double check that your drivers are installed for your, uh, your Windows system. So open up control panel, and then if you go to hardware and sound, device manager, and you should get uh, Motorola USB device, Motorola Flash interface. Um, if you need, if you don't get that, you can get the drivers. I'll have links on it, and you just run the setup file, and that's pretty much it. Um, so that's ready. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the RSD Lite program. And then you, sh you should get uh, this S-Flash, blah, 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 which is your Droid 2 phone. And then we're going to go find the VRC, the file that ends in .sbf, open it, and then hit start. And this should unroot, unbrick our device to factory and you can do this if you want to uh, return your Droid 2 phone to Verizon for warranty and uh, now it's working and let me show you what it looks like on the phone so once you get to this point you should be all good to go Whoa. so my phone says it's updating 
as you can see. Um, so you could probably go get a coffee once you're up to this point. Just make sure you have enough batteries, I guess, um, before you start this process. But um, that's how you unmute your phone. And let me focus in on that screen again. And I'm going to go have a smoke because um, I'm kind of tired. See you all later. Hi all folks, so I am done um, and my phone rebooted by itself. And as you can see, I've got it. Oh, actually, let me do this. I've got it back to factory so you can go um, unbreak it. You'll have to root it again. Um, you have to activate it real quick. So it's been, uh, if not, you may yeah. simply stay on the line while we program your So it's programming and I should have it back to factory. And also if you have Droid uh, 2 Global, it's a different SBF file. So you have to um, choose that instead of the one I showed you. I have links on that one too, in case you have a Droid 2 Pro. Um, and also, this method is same on the Droid X and Droid Pro. You just need to find the right SPF file. So I'll be back when this is activated again. Bye. So it's been. It says it said that it's been uh, programmed. So begin next. I'm gonna just skip everything. Skip. I just want to show you that uh, it's working. All right. I'll be back when this sets up. Hi folks, so I've got my Droid 2 back to factory. Um, it's pretty bare. It's went back to Android 2.2 .2 about phone, Android 2.2. .2. Um, basically now I can root it with the same rooting method. And if you're on gingerbread, um, I don't think there's a rooting method for gingerbread on Droid 2 yet, so you can use this method to unroot it back to 2.2 or unbrick it and then root it again using my method at droid2hex.com so I'm gonna go root my phone again and go try new ROMs so see y'all later thanks <laughs>